Gonna make some glazed salmon. Ready? Gotta use this good old Maggie. Oh yeah. Yep. Gonna use this too. Can't make my fish without it. Gives it that kick. Yeah. Don't need a lot because it's quite salty and I don't cook with salt. So just use half. That's good. All right, so our salmon is ready. And let's see if I could get a, see if I could get a nice shot. Boom. In the oven it goes. Hey right, loves, we're gonna make our glazed sauce really quick. So normally I use some sweet and spicy, but I have this, so I'm gonna use this for right now. They're, they taste about the same. And I don't use a lot. Just like that. And now we're gonna use some honey. Oh yeah more honey than the sauce I'm gonna mix that up really good just like that and my salmon already has a good amount of seasoning on there so I'm just gonna leave the seasoning that I have on there already but if you want, you could put some more seasoning in this mixture. And the reason why you use more honey than sauce is because you don't really want a sauce. Like, you just want a glaze. The whole point of it all is to have a glaze. So you don't want it to be too barbecue saucy, if that makes sense. Mix, 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 mix. And then we're gonna glaze our salmon and be done. I already made some corn and I made some mac and cheese. Baked mac and cheese. You guys are gonna see the finished product in a minute. So I'm gonna taste test this just to see. Guys, you just gotta eyeball it. And me and my family, we like spicy food, so I'm gonna put some black pepper in there. We love, love, love spice. Or I normally use jalapeno, but the kids are here. Guys, this is gonna taste so good. Like, I can't wait. It's perfect. All right, let's get the salmon glaze. So I washed my salad. Did you know that spinach could die? Like, <laughs> oh well. We took that under there. But for right now, I have my mini cucumber that I'm gonna add. I already washed them. I love mini cucumbers. I love mini cucumbers and um, so we're gonna slice those in, not a lot. And then I need some tomato. I don't really fancy tomatoes, so I don't really care how it's sliced. I just want a few in there, like so. And this is tomato on the vine. This is tomato on the vine that I'm cutting up. Boom, just like that. 
and i don't know about you but i love jalapeno i cannot have a salad without jalapeno so i'm gonna wash this real quick and add some all right so we're gonna add a few jalapenos this is how i like my salad guys remember i am a pescatarian slash want to be vegetarian so yeah and we're gonna add some of my favorite croutons and then we're gonna add our glazed salmon that's chilling out behind me oops chilling out behind me and it doesn't really matter how much croutons i use because remember uh I'm technically vegan and I don't want to lose too much weight so that's that we're gonna add our salmon now all right guys so here's the salmon just chilling I think I'm gonna do this middle piece right here because I don't want a big piece oh man it broke but the salmon is cooked perfectly can you guys see that it's cooked perfectly and the glaze is just right. So maybe I'll do this piece too. But I don't want them to break. That's the thing. Mm. I don't want them to break. Okay, perfect. All right guys, so now I'm gonna slice up my salmon and put it in my salad. It's cooked perfectly. I'm gonna taste it. Mmm, ooh. Wow, the glaze is perfect. It's not too sweet, it's just right. And the salmon is like, not overcooked it's perfect slice it up like that and we're just gonna slide that bad boy on like that oh should i just do one yeah maybe i should just do one and there's our salad guys i can't wait to taste it i'm gonna do a thumbnail thumbnail ready all right guys i'm gonna get my salad us and then we're gonna tear this up look at that perfectly cooked glazed salmon salad 